to another episode of Genie Chef TV. Today we're going to be making this. It's a heart inside cupcake with beautiful vanilla frosting and heart sprinkles just for the theme. So let's get started. Let's get started. So what we're going to need for, I'm not actually going to show you how to make the um, cupcake batter because I did make it previously and I'll leave a link in the description box down below on the cupcake recipe. So I'm just going to be using a vanilla packet cake mix. So I've got our vanilla packet and it, and it says to have three fourths cup of milk, three eggs and 80 grams of melted butter. And I'm going to be using a whisk, but you can just use a stand mixer, a spatula and what I have here, this is to make the hearts. So I um, cooked two cupcakes, um, plain vanilla ones, just ahead of time. And what I did is I took them out when they were a little bit raw, not too much, because then they'll just fall apart, apart, sorry. Um, and then that's why it um, made this kind of dough consistency without me adding any water or anything. But if you just make it, cook it until it's really cooked and it's ripe, just crumble it up. You don't have to let it cool. Crumble it up into a bowl. Add one tablespoon of your cake mix that we're going to make now and a teaspoon of water and then that will make this but mine was a little bit raw so the kind of the watery batter made it this and we need a cupcake tray and let's get started so to start off we definitely have to put in our cake mix set that aside add our you don't really need to do this in any particular order. I want to try to do the one-handed crack. I did it. Oh my gosh. It's kind of not my first time, but the first time I did it, I did so bad. All the shells went in, so that's why I stopped. And then now I did it again. So our melted butter and our milk. You can definitely do this with a hand mixer if you just don't like mixing it. But it doesn't take long now with the melted butter. It doesn't take long. But just whisk up that batter. I mix in all my vanilla packet mix. Now I've got a cupcake tin. And my vanilla cake mix says serves 12, so I've got 12 here. Now I'm just going to fill these just two tablespoons. So this ice cream scoop, apparently it does tw two tablespoons. So I'm just going to put that in. And then we're just going to bake these until you put your finger into the middle. You don't want it to be fully cooked. That's all I'm going to tell you. You don't want it to be fully cooked because we're going to put the little um, hearts in them because we're making the heart-shaped cupcake. And then I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're going to put it into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. That our cupcakes are just um, like slightly baking. And now what we're going to do is get this. And I just added some almond essence. I thought, it's so, so good. I thought that like plain, just really plain. So now we're going to make the hearts. Now, you get a, like a, about that size. It depends on your cupcake. Roll it into a ball. Just a round ball. What you're going to do first is if you come closer, just so you can see, I'll show you again. You get it and then you kind of roll this part just like that just so it can be like a little strawberry then you get the strawberry and at the very top get your spoon or whatever you're using and wriggle it wriggle it really good wriggle it until that forms that is your heart if you believe that i'm going to show you one more time get some mixture into a ball and just like this Kind of strawberry, spoon, twist, doesn't matter how deep it is, just you want to hold and keep going. 
circle. Um, what's it called? Um, <laughs> strawberry. Oh, that strawberry is not that good. I should. And I thought like if you do it really precise, it will become a nice heart. So I just want to make my heart as nice as I can. And in the hole. Turn these out of the oven now. I just want to show you if you come closer. It's kind of browned, and I'm going to get one of our, I've already done one here, go get one of our little um, strawberries, no, our hearts, stick it in the middle, get one tablespoon of cake mix, and put it on to our red. Just to cover the red, and just cover that cupcake. That's okay. Do this to the rest of your cupcakes. Off to the oven. Now, these are going to go into the oven until you click a skew, you put a clicker, put a skewer in the middle and it comes out completely clean. Cupcakes have come out of the oven and they're completely cooled. I've just got some vanilla frosting. I just, it's just from the uh, vanilla packet cake mix that I used in the cupcakes. And because there's hearts inside, heart sprinkles, obviously. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna cut one open, which I already did, and show you the middle. So it doesn't look like a heart, but look what I do. Cut it into quarters. And if you go like that, it kind of looks like a heart. Oh yeah, this side's good too, so let me cut this side too. Heart. But, yeah, they look nice. So what I'm going to do is now quarter this one, so I thought I could just do one more. See, um, maybe I'll go like that. Like that or something. Make a little pattern. I don't know. Like that, <laughs> just do different things. Get some heart sprinkles. It doesn't have to be heart, I just thought the seam. And then, ready to serve. These are really nice, if you come up. These are really nice and I hope you like them. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what recipe I should make next and I'll see you next time. to show you one I've already cut one open but I just wanted to show you one start again <laughs>